and then zucchini. Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and today's video I just have a recipe video for you guys. So if you don't know I have a garden in my backyard It is the second year I've done a garden the first year We didn't do much and it was really successful. We got a lot of zucchini tomatoes and peppers Well, we didn't get that many peppers, but we did get a few but we got so much zucchini and so this year we pretty much doubled our garden, actually more than doubled. And so we have been getting so much zucchini. We've been lucky to have a really successful year so far, so I'm excited to see what else we'll get from it. But today's recipe video is going to be three different zucchini recipes. So two of them are kind of like baked goods and then the other one is one that is one of our favorite appetizers to make. So. If you enjoyed this video or find it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And let's get started. So I try to keep these pretty simple. Today I'm going to be making zucchini muffins, zucchini cookies, and then zucchini fritters. So actually I'm going to wait to do the fritters for another day of filming, but it'll all be in this video. But today I'm doing the two baking recipes. So I'm starting off by just shredding my zucchini. I need to shred it for all three of the recipes. So I think that I might have enough for the first two that I'm doing today and then I might have some extra I can save for when I make the fritters. All I'm going to be doing is taking this and shredding it with this. So I'm actually going to do the thicker side because I kind of like the bigger size zucchini, especially for the fritters, but it kind of bakes in the other recipes, but I don't know. I like when you can kind of still tell there's zucchini in it. So I do it a little bit thicker, but I'm just going to go ahead and grate this up and then I'll share with you guys how I make it. These are going to be lower point. Actually, the muffins and the cookies are both three points per item. So three for a muffin, three for a cookie. And they are very good. We really have been enjoying them. What I've been using is my sugar. So both of these recipes need a sugar. Is this organic brown coconut sugar. So I recently found it. Actually, I found it at Fresh Time. For a teaspoon, it's 15 calories. And it's one point for that serving. So I've just been using this. I find that it has really good flavor. It's a little bit lower point of an option compared to other sugars and brown sugar and stuff like that. But it's not an artificial sweetener. So it doesn't really leave us kind of bloated. I do really like using the Swerve Brown Sugar. You can definitely substitute that in. I just noticed the difference between this and the Swerve. Sometimes I get a little bit more bloated from it because of the artificial sweetener, but either way, any type of sweetener that you like to use will work. I use brown sugar for both of them, so if you have any type of brown sugar substitute or sweetener, it will work for this. With these recipes as well, I like to substitute out the oil or the butter, so instead of that, I'll use Greek yogurt or applesauce. So I'll have all these recipes typed out in the description of this video but I do like to substitute in some lower point options like non-fat Greek yogurt for zero points instead of sour cream or oil or something like that so I'll share all the substitutes I do I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I make these starting with the muffins first so I'm gonna go ahead and get started shredding the zucchini
So I finished up baking the muffins and the cookies and I let them cool. Sorry if you can hear our dinner cooking right now. <laughs> we just, I waited till Adam came home so we could try these together, but we have our dinner cooking so it's sizzling next to me. But anyway, we have the muffins right here so we're gonna go ahead and take a bite of them. These come out to three points total for one muffin. And you can see the cinnamon sugar kind of disappears off of them, but it's a little bit there. But I have, I already tried a bite for the TikTok oh. actually, so I'm just gonna eat a little bit of this one. Wow. I know, I'm sorry. Cheers. Cheers. They're a little, little sweet. They're not like overpoweringly sweet, but. It's like perfect. Yeah. It's like a perfect like breakfast or just like honestly an afternoon snack or something. Yeah. It's good. It's very good. Last time I made them, I was eating the zucchini muffins more he was going more for the cookies so yeah. let's go ahead and try the cookies now. <laughs> okay so these are finished up as well these are three points for a cookie too so you can see this is what they look like they're pretty good size and honestly these would even work as like a breakfast cookie too so i'm ready to go ahead and take a bite of these they're almost kind of more like cake like for mm -hmm. a cookie but they're so so good so good like fluffy cheers cheers <laughs> so that one tastes more like banana bread mm-hmm you definitely taste the banana, and that's what I like is that they're both so different mm -hmm. from each other because the banana definitely changes it up, but they're really good. <laughs> okay, I'll be back with one more zucchini recipe tomorrow, and then that'll wrap it up for this video. <laughs> okay, so I'm finally continuing some zucchini recipes. I did the cookies and the muffins, and I've been wanting to do zucchini fritters, which I'm gonna make us for dinner tonight, but I also decided to do a zucchini meatloaf. So I've had so many people recommend to me to try adding shredded zucchini to meatballs or burgers or stuff like that. So today I'm gonna go ahead and try to do it as a meatloaf and we're gonna see how it goes. I haven't done it this way before, but I'm excited because we both really like meatloaf and I've heard really good things about using the shredded zucchini with it. So today I'm gonna be doing ground turkey for the meatloaf. I'm gonna use 93% lean and I got this from Aldi. I realized that it is more than a pound. It's actually 1.2 pounds, it's 19 ounces. So that's random, I don't know why they do that, but it is gonna be a little bit more than a pound, which is what I plan to use. Not a big deal, but I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and this is gonna be the base for my meatloaf. Then today I'm gonna be using zucchini from the garden, so I'm excited about that. We've still been getting a good amount. I would say we average like two to three to four zucchini a week now, and it's been really nice to just have a consistent flow of zucchini. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up and just shred it using this handheld grater. Once I have that done, I'm gonna mix it together with some onion. So I'm gonna dice up a half of a yellow onion. I'm gonna use a half cup of panko breadcrumbs. I'm gonna use one egg, some onion salt, some minced garlic, and then I'm gonna use some Worcestershire sauce and some ketchup. So I'm also gonna mix this together to make the sauce. I think I'm gonna do like three tablespoons and one tablespoon and see how that goes for the glaze on top of the meatloaf. Everything else I'm just gonna pretty much mix together and form in the shape of a loaf. Actually, I'm gonna use a loaf pan. So I'm just gonna spray this with some nonstick olive oil spray, add the meat to it, and then I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees right now. And I'm gonna put it in there for probably like 50 to 60 minutes. Usually that's how long meatloaf takes. And I'm pretty much just going off of the regular meat loaf recipe that we used to make using just like ground beef and just the meatloaf we used to make before we started our weight loss journey. That's kind of where I'm going with this, but using the zucchini, like I said, and the panko instead of regular breadcrumbs. So I'm going to go ahead and start assembling this and get it in the oven. And then while that's baking in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and make us our zucchini fritters for the air fryer.
Okay, I meant to wait to put the sauce on the meatloaf, but I just ended up putting it on. So it's going to be on the whole time. Hopefully it doesn't get too caramelized because I put the brown sugar in it. But anyway, that's in the oven right now. I have it set for 55 minutes at 350 and I'm going to go ahead and start making the zucchini fritters. So what I need to do for that is just shred some more zucchini. I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of the zucchini from the meatloaf that I shredded. And then I'm going to go ahead and do these two as well. Then I mix in one egg. A third cup of shredded Parmesan cheese, a quarter cup of shredded light mozzarella cheese. Then I got some fresh chives from the garden, so I'm going to use two tablespoons of fresh chives. You could also just use dried if that's what you have. Then I used a little bit of minced garlic, a quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs, and then a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. So I'm going to go ahead and shred the zucchini and get this all assembled so that I can pop them in the air fryer. And then I think for dinner we're just going to do some meatloaf and zucchini fritters because that sounds really good, honestly. Okay, so the meatloaf is done, the zucchini fritters are done, and we're gonna go ahead and try both of them right now before we sit down and actually have it for dinner. So, these I just made in the air fryer. Oh my gosh. I usually do like 10 minutes, flip them over in another 10 minutes or so, and then they're good. They smell like Parmesan cheese, which is my favorite. So Ready? Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Are we each gonna eat three right now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good? <laughs> yeah, those are one of my favorites. I keep mine. <laughs> yeah, so there's the zucchini fritters. The recipe for that is actually available in my cookbook. It's one of our favorite things to do, and it's so simple, honestly, to throw together. Sometimes they're kind of hard to form, but if you spray the aluminum foil or whatever you put them on with some nonstick spray, then it usually helps, and you can kind of just shape them on the paper. And then once they cook up a little bit, I'm able to use a spatula. Whoops. <laughs> I'm able to use a spatula and flip them over. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and try the meatloaf, which... I haven't made this before with zucchini, so I'm really excited. It smells really good. It looks so good. It does. Oh my, whoa. It does. It smells really so, good. So it was super juicy too. There's actually a lot of extra liquid in the pan. So let's see how it is. Gotta get a honk. It looks pretty oh, hot I still. I got a honk and I'm a bite. Yeah, it's thin. Ready? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Bro. I haven't had meatloaf in years how is it so moist that might be my favorite <laughs> like seriously it's so moist it does it's not like greasy and it's like oh it's so good it's like fluffy yeah like how did it turn that fluffy i have no idea what was it after I don't that? Know. I said, uh, <laughs> sorry <laughs> wow okay so you like That's it really good okay okay so i got six even servings from the zucchini meatloaf and each slice comes out to five points when you get six of them. So that's not bad at all. The only things that I really had to track for points were the ground turkey. So you could do this with 99%. Now I'm going to try with 99%. Yeah, definitely. Because that would make it like a, the whole meatloaf would be five points. Seriously. Because it was three points for the ketchup, three for the brown sugar, and five for the panko. And then the zucchini fritters are two points per fritter. So that was mine. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Two points per fritter. So... <laughs> Not bad. And like I said, we're probably going to end up eating all three tonight. So yeah. anyway, <laughs> that wraps it up for some zucchini recipes that we did. I still have a good amount of zucchini from the garden, so I'm excited to kind of remake some of these. Actually, I'm just going to keep making them. Yes. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.